Hello and welcome to another edition of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. I'm Pat Foylet. If you weren't quite ready to call this year's women's volleyball team one of the great turnarounds in BSU history, this weekend might officially have changed your mind. The Cardinals went on the road and dominated two MAC foes, beating Miami on Friday and Bowling Green on Saturday, both in straight sets. The volleyball team is now 18-4 and, and 8-2 and in the MAC. With that win, Ball State is already three wins past last year's total and still has seven matches left in the year. It was a chance for the Ball State Cardinal football team to play a little spoiler last Saturday versus Toledo. The Cardinals got out to a hot start as Keith Winning hit Jack Tomlinson for a 42-yard touchdown. But for the second straight week, the team blew a 17 or more point lead, which is why heading into Kent State this week, lead protection is one of Coach Parrish's major focuses. You know, offensively, um, when you get a lead, it was 17 nothing, and they had the ball on the 10. Okay, and you can't draw it up any better than that. And then they go 90 yards and we give up another big play. And um, then when you can't go back out and pound it a little bit and regain the momentum, you know, we, we, we've got to keep moving it around. It was a busy weekend at the Ball State Soccer Stadium. On Friday, the Cardinals lost to Eastern Michigan in a double overtime heartbreaker to the heavily favored Eagles one to nothing. Then on Sunday, Central Michigan came to town, also knocking off the Cardinals, this time 2 to nothing. The Cardinals, after starting the season off strong, have not won since September 18th. Coming off a four-game losing streak, the field hockey team hosted a Big Ten foe to try to put their losing ways behind them. Indiana University scored first in the second period to give the Hoosiers a 1-0 lead. Ball State would come back with a late second period goal to tie the game. Then in double overtime, Ellen Vonderbrink put home the game winner. The win gave Ball State Athletics its third straight victory over IU, dating back to last spring's two-game sweep over the Hoosiers in softball. Well, that'll do it for Ball State Sports LinkedIn. Make sure to catch us on Twitter and Facebook by searching Ball State Sports Link. We'd also like to thank our partners at First Merchants Bank. For everyone in Ball State Sports Link, I'm Pat Boylan. Thanks for watching.